yeah, hey guys, it's Marche here. You're watching Exploring Australia. Today we're in Noons. We're gonna go check out some ruins. I'm here with this crazy mob. And yeah, so we're gonna have a look and it's gonna be absolutely awesome. We're gonna see some amazing footage. So ready, check it out. Rev it up, pay the toll. Following the wild line to free our soul. The UHS on 25, we got a combo. Yeah, we're at the National Park, we're at Noons, there's some awesome ruins that we've, I've been here before and there's some awesome ruins and I wanted to bring it to you guys. Like I said, I'm here with Vanessa and some friends, you might remember Drano from our last video, and yeah, so make sure you check it out, some awesome footage, here we go, you ready? Like and subscribe, give the thumbs up, and check out these this footage. I've said in other videos um, you know if you're going to go out into the bush and do some bushwalking and explore make sure you always have plenty of stuff make sure you have drink make sure you have food and I've said before toilet paper doesn't hurt um, but yeah just make sure you got some supplies I know sometimes it's a pain in the butt especially if you think oh I'm only gonna be gone an hour or two then it's like oh don't need it and so you don't want to carry the extra stuff so but sometimes it, you know, well in my opinion it's always better to lug stuff that you never use and be a pain in the butt that way than actually be out and about and need something and you don't have it. So always think ahead, think about what you might need and of course the main one is, especially in Australia if you're exploring the bush, you want to have water at least, so you want drink, you want some food if you get a bit hungry, hat especially help keep it out of the sun and sunscreen and all that sort of good stuff as well so always think ahead because it's really easy to just come out here you think you're only going to be an hour next thing you know you're four hours out you might be thirsty or hungry or you've just been in the sun too long and it's just gotten too hot so always remember and make sure you're well stocked up and make sure you're well prepared so anyway Here's some more footage, check it out. And this is where they cook coke. As you can see, they used to... <laughs> it's, it's the coke ovens. <laughs> nah, you don't want to snort it, the ice cubes get stuck in your nose. We're at the coke ovens. It says, unstable relics. Please do not enter. So yeah, this is the coke ovens thing. There's just so much brick, eh? Look how much bricks that have been used here. And there's only a tiny portion of it. Oh, he buddy goes, I'm trying to take a photo of myself. What am I, chopped liver? I could take a photo of him. But yeah, so don't forget, in the description, you'll see uh, links to Drano's Instagram page. Make sure you follow him, and of course, Vanessa's as well. But right now, I've got to put the camera down so I can take a photo of Drano. So if you're wondering where Noons is, it's just outside of Lithgow, New South Wales. Um, yeah, so if, if you look on a map, you'll find Lithgow and Noons isn't too far away from there. You can see where Lithgow is, excuse me. Yeah, you'll see where Lithgow is in relation to Sydney and all that sort of stuff if you're out of the area. But yeah, just sitting here near the coke ovens, there's a whole bunch of ruins that you're gonna see soon. Um, yeah, it's just amazing. This place just totally baffles me. It's like, I've never seen so much bricks. Like, normal house brick size. You know, this isn't like special bricks and all that. If you look at them, 
they're just normal house brick sizes, you know, and there's so much work here that's just unreal. So anyway, enough talk, me talking, but before I stop talking, make sure you subscribe, hit the notification bell so you don't miss any future videos, hit the thumbs up, you know, if you're liking this video, hit the thumbs up, make sure that goes well. And also, don't forget to check out Conceptual Creative. I'll, if you're watching this on YouTube, I'll have a subscribe tag at the end. So, but yeah, so check out Conceptual Creative. See what they do for me at marksheetmusic.com.au, and you can catch them at conceptualcreative.com.au. And <laughs> but yeah, so check out what they do. They help you know support me and get things happening. So anyway, back to the videos. Okay, well, the reservoir was a bust. Don't worry about it if you're in Noons. It's basically a giant old water tank filled with grass. Basically, there's just grass growing in it. And it's a big walk up the hill. And, um, yeah, not really worth it. So, there's a bit of a review on noon so far. <laughs> but yeah, so there's some great shots that we're getting around the place. And, yeah, but we saw the reservoir. Oh, okay, we'll see what's up there. Yeah, just a great big concrete circle and grass that comes up to about your waist in the growing up in the middle of it. So if you see it, don't be fooled. Nothing to see up there. But oh, see how we go. Let's keep on going. The big wall. You are here at the top of the wall. Yeah, yeah, well, you can see it from down there. Yeah, but that's the track you're not supposed to go up and Got some stairs to go down. Yeah, stairs, stairs, and stairs. There's got to be a better way for what? <laughs> well, there is. Watch other people's videos and photos of doing it. <laughs> I wonder if the camera picked that up.
That's just what's insane. It's just it's it's all brick. Yeah, and of course there would have been wood structures on them, but the amount of brick is just I've never seen so much brick in my life. It wasn't orgasmic, it was all. I thought it was interesting and all. AWE baby. Dun 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 dun. Got that on film. It is, hey, this, is, this blows me away, especially when you think about the engineering behind it. And it's still here after, you know, it's like, it's still standing after almost 100 years. Okay. There's the peak of the sun over the cliff there, but it's still shining on that side of the valley. Uh, still good. We're trying to get through, we're losing light. We're trying, as you can see the sun is over the peaks, just because we're in a valley, so the sun, we lose the sun a lot easier, a lot quicker. So we're trying to get through it, so we don't, before we run out of light and can't shoot or film anymore. Still gotta get back to the camp before dark. But we're having fun. Looking at all the ruins. Ooh. Yeah, so. We're getting there. But the sun is gone over the peaks. So it's not gonna be too long before it gets dark. Yeah, so if you like old ruins and that, that you know, are starting to get overgrown and photographing like, you've got to come down to noons. It's all, it's absolutely awesome. You know, there's so much to explore. We've been here for hours. It's just so much, so good. And again, remember to bring drink and food and all that sort of stuff because you're going to need it because you're going to be here for a long time if you want to do it properly. And just explore and check out the ruins and see nature claiming back the land. So anyway, here's some more footage. Get back to it. Yeah guys, so what you gotta remember is noons, there's no phone signal, so you're not gonna be using your mobile phone except for to take photos and videos. So make sure somebody knows where you are, that you're coming here. Just in case an accident happens, they know where to start looking for you. 
but it's a great place and even though there's no phone signal if you like camping you know there are toilets here so don't freak out there's no showers but there are toilets here so it's not going totally bush yeah but the important thing is there's no phone so your phone's just going to be a camera for shooting photos and video so just keep that in mind but it is damn well worth the trip there's some amazing sites there's creeks there's scrubland, and you've got the ruins, which obviously you've seen. So come on down and, and check it out, because it's really good. It is such an adventure. You know, you can spend a whole week here if you wanted to. We usually come for a weekend. You get to see a bit and, and that. So I just thought I'd bring the Noons ruins to you guys so you can have a look and then come on down. Anyway. Here's a bit more before we wrap it up. Yeah guys, well that was Noons, I hope you enjoyed it and again if you're interested to know where it is, it's just outside of Lithgow, um, it's a bit of a trek to get here and the, these ruins are awesome, they're worth, they're worth the trip, come out and camp at the, the campgrounds at Noons and then take a day hike out and come and see these ruins, it's amazing how much brick is here and how much, this was an industrial area years and years and years and years ago. So yeah, make sure you come and check it out if you're enjoying it. Anyway guys, I hope you've enjoyed that. Again, as always, subscribe, hit the notification bell, let's build this channel. Anyway, I'm Mark Shea, this is Exploring Australia. See ya!